What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac here, and I got another free Ableton Live pack for you. This time, um, the focus is, is getting some tape hiss or vinyl crackle into your sounds. Um, so I started by just sampling some old cassette tapes of varying quality, um, and I got the clips here for you. Here's one, and as you go down, they basically get crummier and crummier sounding. Um, I dug out old cassette tapes, used my reel-to-reel -reel machine just to get a bunch of different tape hiss. And while I was at it, I also sampled some records. So, again, these start out from like best quality to like worst quality. They get louder and louder, as you can hear. So this is just the point of the record where you first drop the needle right before any music plays. I got the little crackles there, and it's just a, a sample that gets looped over and over again. You'll see here. So you have those right there to just kind of drop in the background of your tracks. Um, sometimes it's kind of cool to put like a side chain compressor to the kick drum so you get like a pumping feel on the crackles. I kind of like doing that myself. Um, so those are them there. Um, over here, what I want to show you is a rack I made, a drum rack with these 16 samples. So it allows you to just play through these different sounds. You know, use them as you like. You can get rhythmical if you want with it. Rhythmic. Um, I've put on a control for the high pass filter, which is kind of fun. Maybe you, you know, want to play around with that. Um, you can set up the attack for more of a swell or release, so it kind of fades away. And then just for fun, I thought I'd play around with our sample controls here. So this knob controls where the sample starts from. So if we, let's see, we'll go with this. We'll pick maybe this one, someone you can hear well. We're making this a smaller and smaller loop. You can change the loop length. Get those clicky sounds. All that stuff here. The reason I did this was just so you could have some fun, maybe do some special effects. Um, you know, with your samples, get things sounding a little granular almost. Um, thought it might be good for like special effects. So that's uh, just the drum rack. Um, this next rack is one I'm really excited about here. Um, this allows you to make any synth you have sound as if it were sampled from tape or from vinyl. And the way I've done this is I set up two chains. The first chain is just designed for you to drop any sound you want on there. And I put a little keyboard from the electric instrument right there for you to hear. That's plain, nothing done to it yet. The next chain is a sampler with all those vinyl and tape samples right here. And the chain selector's up here. It's mapped to this knob, so you get to choose which sample you want, and then you can raise the volume, which is just turning this volume knob up right here. So, the way this works is, we have this keyboard. Let's add some tape hiss in. Okay, you can put a lot in like I have now, it'll be a little more subtle, and then cycle through the different sounds. Some vinyl, perhaps. And you just control that however you like. A um, couple things I want to show you that I did to make this instrument work a little better is for one, I put a modulation on the sample offset. So this wave, this random noise wave is modulating the sample off offset. So when I play a sound, let's do a real obvious one. I'll pick the most intense vinyl sample that we have here. So you can see that little orange line is going back and forth, right? Now every time I hit this, it's that orange line starts at a different spot. 
And this is handy because if I turn this off, we get the problem of every single time I hit the key, okay, our sample starts right in the beginning. So it's not a big deal if you're playing like long notes. But when you start doing fast things, you get this rep, you know, repetitive machine gun kind of sound. It sounds fake. It doesn't sound like violin anymore. It sounds like some problem with your sampler. So we put on the modulation and that will offset that. And so now I can play rapid notes and the vinyl just continues to go normally. So now when I put in my keys and play something quick, a little vinyl sounds nice as opposed to, I'll just drive this point home without that. It's, I don't know, just doesn't sound as real. So that's one thing we've done here. Um, another thing you want to make sure when you do something like this, you don't want too many samples of your tape and vinyl accumulating. If I turn this up to say like 10, listen to what happens when I start playing more than one note. Now that's not going to work because I need to turn this off. Now listen. Super loud vinyl sounds. So. I turn this into glide and I put our voices just down to one so only one will play at a time you don't get this like accumulation of vinyl sounds um, and one final recommendation I'd like to give you when you use this is to just take your release of your instrument so um, like we'll take say here right or maybe even we'll do it Right now, the release of my keyboard instrument is longer than my crackle. And that sounds unnatural, because the crackle would go for the entire sample. So what you want to do is just match that on your, right here, on the release in this particular chain. So now they're kind of more together. So one recommendation I have is just make sure your release on this particular vinyl tape thing here is the same as it is here. Um, that way things will sound more natural. So I'm really excited about this particular instrument to be honest with you um, because I think there's a lot of cool possibilities. I'll just grab any instrument, drop it right here, just turn the release up on this guy and the sustain some. So now it sounds like I have an analog synth that was sampled off of some vinyl. Tape. Very handy. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Big shout out to the horrorist over at Wire to the Ear for um, making this request for some vinyl. I'm sorry, he requested some cassette tape samples of just the noise. So I took that, added in my reel to reel machine and the vinyl as well. Um, so I want to thank Oliver for that. Check him out, wiretotheear.com. And I hope you enjoy this. Take care.